missed a penalty to have a lot of chances in the first half. We could have maybe wrapped up the game good and solid in the first half. And uh, then in the knockout blow and then to to equalise in the last couple of minutes showed a lot of guts and determination. We've had it the whole season. This competition we've shown tremendous guts and determination. I think, I don't know what it takes every game. Maybe we have to have a player sent off every game to, to win, to go through. And, uh, you know, uh, that shows a lot of courage. And then also to miss a penalty in the game and a man sent off. I think it really shows where this club is going um, as a team. Um, we're really going places. We, you know, we, we had a three-year plan and it's coming nicely together and the players are starting to take shape and uh, it's a great day for, for, for our Missouri and their fans. It's been long overdue, really. Um, this day has been long, long overdue for their fans. Uh, 18 years, a long, long time and uh, we want them to come in large numbers to, to, what, to enjoy what a tremendous and what a great occasion is going to be um, at Soccer City and I'm going back there. I love them. I thought, well, is it ever going to happen? Um, you know, uh, penalty shootouts is like that. Fortunately, in the penalty shootout, uh, we've always had the advantage to a certain degree. Uh, always missed first, which was which was which was fortunate for us. And uh, you know, but that high football goes sometimes, and uh, the pressure's on in this situation. Um, just. Unfortunately, I said to my players, it's not going to, if you miss, it's not a big train smash for me. It's, it's go out there and just be courageous to take one or two and, and let it happen and it'll take care of itself. But um, what a gutsy performance from our guys and regulation time and, and, and extra time, you know, against a team of Sundown's caliber. Um, I think we showed tremendous character and guts. Uh, I think, I think the credit should go to Amazulu. They never, they never uh, uh, gave up. They fought up to the last minute. And especially, uh, they gave us some uh, big problems with the uh, high balls with the long throwing corner. Uh, I think we've managed to deal with the situations first in the second half as well. But uh, just one, uh, the ones when we went to sleep and they actually got that, it actually brought them more into the game. Uh, most of the time, uh, clubs that are scoring the set, you know, equalizing uh, the characters, builds with, with, with the team. So it was the same with the, uh, with the Amazon uh, this afternoon. Uh, it's obviously, you know, uh, as I said earlier, when you have suspensions and injuries for that matter, sometimes, it allows the opportunity for you, you have to use it for other players, squad players, that's what it's about. That's why you have a squad of players. It allows them the opportunity to come in and say, so I said to them, he has the opportunity to come in and you've got a cup final next week if you do if you do the job. And uh, a lot of them will be staking a claim for, 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 for the starting position in the cup final. Uh, <clears throat> yes, it's going to be a headache that we have with the number of suspensions that we keep having. <coughs> we get a couple back. But, uh, I thought... Uh, Abbasso's uh, second yellow card was a little bit petty, if you can call it that. Um, you know, I think there were a lot, lot more harsher tackles going on and he, he waved play on and let things go. I thought he could have just stepped up and said to him, you know, all he did was jump upwards. If he's jumped been upwards and he shouldn't have been allowed to be on that mark. He didn't jump forwards, he jumped upwards. And you book him for that, I thought, was a little bit petty. But uh, sometimes you have to accept decisions like that. Obviously, uh, there was at times when I was thinking, you know, are we ever going to score? Because I felt in the first half, the couple of chances, great chances early on in the game, and then the penalty miss, I thought, well, oh, well, you, you know, against a team like Sundowns, you've got to take those chances. And if you keep missing those chances, you're going to get punched. And uh, that's what happened. But as I said, we showed great courage to come back. And then the penalty shootout to be, to, to be able to have the chance to go ahead cleanly twice, and then come and miss it again, I thought, well. But I, I always had faith in the players, and I uh, always had tremendous courage in them and uh, they've shown tremendous courage this season. They've really come, come good in 2010 and uh, you know it's something to build on for the future. Vitz, very difficult team. Um, you know, uh, they played tremendously well today. Um, with all their suspensions, when you start talking about underdogs, you know, uh, it's a cup final on a neutral venue and a biggest, big occasion. I just hope that we can come and rise to the occasion like we did tonight.